Hi everybody. Um, so today I am going to do a look on my face. Um, basically an everyday face to cover up any like minor imperfections um, in your. Um, I don't. I have allergy eyes, so my eyes are dark underneath my eyes because I have bad allergies, and I'm supposed to take shots to make them go away, and I don't. So it'll be able to have conceal underneath your eyes and. Your um, how to do your basic everyday makeup. Nothing too fancy. Um, I'm going to be using a few products. So of course, they'll be listed below. So, if you like how my makeup looks on a regular basis, then feel free to check out this video. And after that, my eye look will be the next video up. So, if you like what I have on my eyes today, it's by the Stila in the Moment palette. Then make sure you check out my next video. Also, my 50 subscriber video is coming up soon. I have like 43 subscribers right now. So anybody that's like, you know, out of the 50, anybody can qualify. Just spread the word. We need seven more people. It's going to be like a great, great, great giveaway. So it's time to get started. I'm going to prime my face with my Tarte 12-hour poreless face perfecting primer. This is like one of my newest favorite primers. I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over my face. Make sure I hit my forehead, and then where I seem to have larger pores, I'm going to use like patting motions and try to really pack that primer into there and reduce the look of those pores. Then I'm going to use my Sephora Beauty Blender today, and I'm going to use my NARS Sheer Glow. Oops. NARS Sheer Glow. But what I'm going to do is start off by applying some foundation to a regular foundation brush from Sephora. Um... I'm going to go ahead and dip my brush into the end of, I'm really trying to show that to y'all, I see. I'm going to dip my brush into the Narsher Glow, get a nice little amount onto the end, and just apply it in different areas of my face. Spreading the product around, trying to cover up any imperfections, making sure I hit underneath my eyes, around my hairline, on my neck. And around my mouth these are like the biggest areas that nobody wants to make a mistake and not really apply makeup too well because either you'll have a line where your neck starts or either you know it just won't look even it has to look even and I don't forget about my ears but I don't apply a lot of foundation a lot of foundation to my ears I just apply a lot of well I apply powder then I'm going go with my precision flat brush by Sigma and I'm going to use my Bobby, my Bobby Brown Concealer Duo in the color Honey. The Duo has the concealer on one side and the setting powder on the other side, which I find really convenient. I'm going to go ahead and use that. Open it on up. And I'm going to dip my Precision Flat Brush by Sigma in. And then I'm going to use that to cover up my imperfections. The biggest one is the scar that I covered up first from me being asleep and scratching my face at night time. And then I had a crazy outbreak from the spring that is still going away. So I'm going to make sure I cover up any of those spots that aren't covered up by the regular uh, Sheer Glow Foundation. Then I'm going to use that Sephora Beauty um, makeup sponge and really buff that um, concealer into my skin. Then I'm going to go in with just a regular powder brush on the other side of the duo and really set my concealer in because I don't want it creasing. Then I'm going in with that Sephora makeup brush, and it is wet because it's going to help me blend in my makeup. I'm going to add a little more foundation basically to where I added that concealer and really buff that foundation into my skin. Roll it all over, blend it out really, really well. I definitely hit my hairline again. And just make everything look really, really even and really, really good. And make sure you take your time with this. I take my time because, it's I mean, it's my face. This is what people see as soon as they see me. So I want to make sure that it looks really good. Now, I need to conceal underneath my eyes where I have allergy eye. So when I use, for that, I use my Maybelline Dream Touch Illuminizing Pen, which I can't seem to find right then. So I found it. This is a drugstore brand, but I really love it. I'm going to turn that a couple times, get some product. Then I'm going to apply that underneath my eye and drag it all the way down to right where my nose would stop. I'm going to try to get as close to my waterline as possible. 
Then I'm going to take a concealer brush by Sephora and I'm going to apply that product all the way up to my waterline. And I'm also going to fill it in. This will bring light to that entire area, which will help reduce my dark circles underneath my eye. And I also go into the inner corner because that vein sits on the inside of your eye also. Then I'll use my ring finger and pat in that concealer. I'm not going to really try to spread it out. I spread it out with the brush and I really just pat it in with my finger. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Get as close to the waterline as possible. Spread the product out with the brush and then press it in with your ring finger. Be very careful because that's a very sensitive thin layer of skin right there so you don't want to hurt your skin. Then I'm not done concealing the area. I'm going to go with my Amazing Cosmetics in the color tan concealer. I'm going to use, um, you can use the same concealer brush, that's fine. I'm going to apply a nice small amount onto my brush and then I'm also going to apply that under the eye. Now this concealer is like a pinkish um, undertone which offsets the blue um, parts of my veins and the blue undertone underneath my eye. So if you have really dark circles make sure you get a pink based concealer. It'll really go a long way versus just getting a you know one that's like close to your skin tone. So I'll make sure I hit that crease underneath my eye because that bothers me the most out of everything. And of course, still try to get to that waterline. I'm only going to apply this under the eye. I did spread that out with my finger a little bit, but I am pressing and patting it into my skin. I am making that concealer do its job. Then don't forget you have to set the concealer. If not, we will have some creasing and we definitely do not want that. So... I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown um, Duo, I'm going to use the powder side of it to really um, set that concealer. Just another powder brush, whatever brush you have will be fine. And I'm going to use two brushes when setting my eyes. I'm also going to set it with a fan brush. This will help me get in the little creases of my eye, just to make sure it's it's applied really, really well. You definitely don't want any creases underneath your eye. That would suck. So then I'm going to go back in and apply a little bit more foundation. I'm really just going to aim for right underneath my eye. I'm going to use, since it's the egg shape, I'm going to use the pointed end to go underneath all the way up to my waterline of my eye and this will also make that illuminizing um, product that I use not look super shiny it'll just make me have an inner glow now it's time for powder this is studio gears powder it's the dry wet mineral powder I've never used it wet so I can't attest to how well that works just another powder brush I've like worn this product out, so I have to dab it on to the end to try to get any more left. I'm going to go through, just make sure I hit my eyes again where I concealed a lot in that area, and just apply powder all over my face. Got to get some more out of there. It's time for me to buy some more. And really buff that powder into my skin and make sure that I get it all over my face and my neck and my ears. All those are really important so that my face really lo just looks flawless. And excuse those stupid faces I make while I do this. I can't help it. I try not to. I just can't help it. And excuse that stupid wink I just did. But <laughs> ah, now I need to work on my brow. So, well, actually, I'm lying. I'm going to contour my face first. Um, and I'm also going to add some bronzer on. This is my MAC uh, Matte Bronzer. I think this is a darker color that comes in. This is a different powder brush. It's a powder brush by Sephora. This bronzer is really about my skin color. The only reason why I put it on is because it's a secondary powder and um, my forehead is slightly darker than the rest of my skin. So it just makes me have a 
all over even skin tone. I'm definitely going to hit my ears again and my neck. Then I need to add some blush and I'm going to contour and do my brows. I use the Sephora Mattifying Foundation as my um, contour color. And I'm going to use the Sigma Small Contour Brush. Make sure I tap off the excess. And I'm really going to go for that line right there where the hollows of my cheeks. Make sure you don't extend past the apples of your cheeks or either you'll look stupid. So I'm really going to go and buff that into my skin. Try not to make a harsh line. And you know, two layers is always better than one. I'm extend up my face. It should get a little thicker. And then I'm going to do my hairline because, like I said, my forehead is slightly darker than the rest of my face. So I want to make sure it doesn't look stupid. Then I need to add some blush. I'm going to use my blush brush by e.l.f. And I'm going to apply some Sephora blush. This is Coral Crush. And this is similar to Orgasm. It's in my November favorites. So if you haven't seen that, check that out. I'm going to pop that onto the apple of my cheeks. Just to give myself a nice little color on my cheeks. Nothing too crazy. I was watching Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and Will Smith was dancing then, sorry. Then I got a couple feathers from me, like a couple hairs from my uh, makeup brush aside to get those off. Then my highlighter, my girl meets pearl, love this stuff. It's liquidy, that's the only thing I don't like. I'm going to apply that and rub it in. This is my benefit. I really like it. It gives you a nice glow. It's a, a gold undertone. And I really like it. Um, by no means does it beat out some other highlighters, but it's a great one for me to do on a regular basis. Yeah, I was feeling myself a little bit. Then it's time for me to do my brows. I'm going to use my YBF pencil um, and Universal Taupe. This is like everybody's go-through brow pencil. It's okay to me. It's not like my crazy holy grail of pencils. But I'm going to go through, fill my brows. Really what I need the most help on is right where my arch is and needs to be filled so that's really what i'm going to feel the most is right there where my arch is do not overdo this and i'm also going to add a point on to my brows so that's really it don't overdo it with the pencil because if not you'll end up looking a little crazy you know i'm not i want it to look natural so i'm gonna go in and fill in where my arch is and then i'm gonna drag the pencil down and add a point to my brows Nothing too crazy. And that just adds more shape to my brow. Then I'm going to turn onto the spoolie side and I'm going to lay my brows down and really distribute that pencil product all across my brow so it's not one spot that's just extra, um, I don't know, just, just make it look even and natural. Then I'm going to go in with my NYX Brow Kit. And I think this is a medium dark or dark and dark or something like that. It's the darkest color it comes in. I'm not actually going to use their brushes. I'm going to dip that brush in and apply it to the top of my brow. And just distribute some powder in. So where I want it to feel and make it darker that I didn't do with my pencil, I'm going to do with this, the powder. I find that if I use powder, it looks more natural than using pencil. So that's why I use powder and I just outline my brows with my pencil. I also like that this NYX kit is maybe $6 and my brow pencil is $12 and I have to order it online. So i much rather just outline my brows with that and using this to fill. Then I have a spoolie in that kit and I'm going to go through and make sure I distribute all that product evenly throughout my brows so nothing is sticking out and it looks pretty natural. You like? I like. I like. Bye, guys.